Yeah, make okay. them a little bit bigger. Let's make them all this size so they're roughly the size of the lid. That's it, so add a, add a bit more to that one. Just a touch to that one. Good. Okay, so if you clean that off now, make sure it's really nice and clean. So we come off centre, so if that's the centre, we're going to start about there. Yeah. So you dip the tool, so nice and vertical. Mm. And then we start working it out for the stem. And bring it down. I'll show you with this yeah, one. Yeah. So if that's the centre, this yeah. is off centre, so you go in and then you pull it up slightly. And what that does is it closes the surface tension so you don't end up with a hole. And then you bring it up and then you can go back. You see it's like yeah. almost like a triangle there. Yeah. So you start just from that bit. Get to about that sort of length. Working up from that triangle. Good. If you work that one up a little bit more, can you see mine's got, got like an even thickness, yours goes into quite a fine point there. Okay. That's better. We'll do that with this one as well. Good. And so, if I start from this side, you sweep down and then almost back up. So you're going almost back up vertically. Okay. And then do the same underneath. And then just pull out. Okay, so if you do that to those two. So starting in the middle. Starting no, from here, uh, sweeping like a around. Smile, you yeah, said. yeah. yeah. That's it. And then the same from here. Up. Yep. Good. So do the same with this one. And then from here. Excellent. And then from up here, we sweep in halfway down and stop. And then from the other side, we sweep in all the way through. Oh my lord. <laughs> Some video, don't worry, you can watch yourself back. Have we got sound, huh? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Okay. Yeah, careful what you say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> professional. Look at that. Yeah, I won't be able to remember that though. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well you've got it on video, yeah. it'll be fine. And there's videos online of me as okay. well. So. Cool. And then, um, and then so, the fans. Yeah, so now, so let's just start with your blue just to get you started. And you're going to touch that right on the end of where the stem is. So if you're, going to do, if you're going to do them the same colours, you might as well to get you started. Don't yeah. worry about the colours too much. Okay. So do exactly the same to those two. And I think we'll keep it simple this time. Yeah. And you'll do all of the same. So you can okay. add a bit of yeah. pale blue or pink just to size them up a bit. That's it. Get them all that size. They will regress slightly because the surface tension is quite high, they will shrink back a bit. Okay, so then you're going to start doing your dates. You see, you'll start from the stem. Yeah. So, about, you see where the blue and the green are joining? Yes. 
push down and then pull it up and that pulls the green up a bit. Yes. And then carry on dividing it. So you can do four or you can carry on and do it into eight if you want to do the daisy. Can I go back in there, or is that going to mess up? Yeah, I mean, you can. It might be tricky, because you want to penetrate and then pull your tool up and then pull it up slightly. opposite remember oh yes <laughs> and if you want to finish off with a yellow dot because yeah. it's quite powerful, you just want to touch it so you've got a tiny little bit on the top. Okay. If you put it in and you think there's too much on, you can just do that a couple of times on your hand okay. and that will reduce it down. So, And you can practice. So if you do, what sometimes what I do is I just on the side of the tray just to see how big how it's going to blow up yeah, okay. so I can gauge it. And there might be enough left on there yeah. to then just do that. Sometimes I, I use a needle as well if I want a really fine point. Smaller value. I'm watching it. And I think that's a cool. very impressive.